We're just going to start the recording right away. These two are too sweaty. They, I guess there's beef between these two. I don't know. They got into the lobby and they just went right into it. And I wasn't even able to get the fucking graphics ready. So we're just going to go straight to it because I think this one is personal. Right now we have Brain Dead Bunga versus the top tier Round Temple. One. ATL Fight. defending Bunga. Jago defending the Temple. These two have had a lot of problems today. Brain Dead Bunga stole some key players from the top tier temple and now the members that remain in the top tier temple have a vendetta with the Bunga. And look, ATL, this is the first time. This is, holy shit, ATL is trying to make a statement. We've never seen him start with Aaron Black, guys. I wasn't even able to pay attention. That's how quickly these guys wanted to get in. ATL dominating. Dominating Jago in the corner. There's the back two. Back two, two, two. In the slide cancel. Drops the combo. Down three. Short hop two. Two one. Nope. Getting hit with an up three on the wake up side swap. Grab. And now Jago has the corner jump in. Dab and two. One, two, one, two. Gets the knockdown. Backing it up. Looking for a whip punish. No whip punish. Whip punish with the back three. Four. Bicycle kick with the buffer flats. 22% on deck. Two, one, two, one, two. Let's the slide rock. ATL has gotten serious. This is the first time we've ever seen. ATL serious out the gates. I don't know what went on between these two behind the scenes, but apparently ATL, he's not in the chat talking shit. He's not trolling. He's in here being sweaty as fuck and now trying to show why his Aaron Black needs to be respected. With this corner per, uh, corner pressure, starting up, down four, scud shot, forward grab. Are you fucking serious? Jago is unable to get out. Standing two, no, back two, back two, 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 two. He just lets it rock, daring him to try to punish, run, cancel, two, one, two, one, two. Into gun, shoot, 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 putting the gun down, shoot, 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 shoot. Holy shit, never have we seen ATL show up and be so dominant and furious. Out of the gates, I don't know what has possessed this man. I don't know what possessed this man. This is allegedly going to be our main event, but I don't know. We may have time for another match after this one because ATL is making short work of Jago. Jago was not prepared. Everybody sees ATL in the chat, and they go and they watch his matches on YouTube, and they think that ATL is just kind of overrated. But those of us who have been in the temple for a long time, we know, yo, dude, you should not be taking Chosen, ATL dude. lightly. Do not for any reason think that you can just walk all over ATL. He trolls, he trolls, he screws around and he acts like an idiot, but at any moment he can pull out Aaron Black and totally make you want to quit this game, as he just did there. He's in the chat now and he's saying, I got to put on for the GOAT Creative. Creative is on my team. That's all it took. His homeboy Creative Royalty joining Team Bunga to make ATL start actually playing seriously. That's all it took. I can't believe it. You guys are in for a treat. If ATL's going to shut down Jago, we're going to see all the Aaron Black swag we can handle. A lot of you guys, you see little glimpses of it. You see little, like, pictures of his Aaron Black, but we've never seen him at full force. This is legendary Super Saiyan, legendary God Super Saiyan Broly, right? Uh-oh, back 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Unbreakable command grab. No bar spent. He's just going to cash in the 22%. Oh! ATL going for the run cancel swag already. Uh oh, uh oh, big punish into command grab. No amplify. Okay, amplify for almost 25%, 26%. One bar, unbreakable down poke. Command grab dashing in with the side swap and mixing up. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. All oh, dropped it. Dropped it a little bit. Here we go. This is. Jago about to start mounting a comeback. He's on chip death territory. He can block two moves, and he gets hit with a back two. Two moves he would have been able to block one, and then the chip. Well, the bar is back. He would have been able to block three moves at this point, but here we go. ATL pulling out and activating the sweat factory. Slide in the neutral back two, two. Gonna get that punish. Wake up for two, two. Amplified shuriken standing one. Dashing in. Goes for the restamp. Flawless block. Jago coming out with the sweat now. Run cancel. And cancel, no shimmy, ATL looking for that punish, doesn't get it, but ends the string with the overhead, back 2-2-2, two, 2-1-2-1-2 two, two. Two, one, two, one, two in the slide, ATL with the yellow flash mix, back 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two into the slide, sets the slime up, 
Slide versus slime versus slide. I can't even fucking say words properly. Back one, two, run, cancel. There's the option for four, four into the low. ATL not able to fuzzy guard that in time. The slide blown up, standing four, or four, four into Nomad. Jago now putting in an effort up to ATL with the down four slide cancel. Two, one, two, one, two into gun. Gun cancel. What the fuck? Slide into back two, two, two. Oh my god, back two, 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 fatal blow. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the gimmicks, the shenanigans, the mix-ups, the swag, ATL, when he pulls out Aaron Black, delivers it all. I don't know what got into him, but y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up waking up the monster that is ATL. ATL showing Jago no mercy, and Jago is no slop in the beef set league. Jago is no slouch. Jago is one to be respected in ATL showing no respect. Hold on, I'm getting word from I'm getting word from the back office Ivan letting me know that everyone wants Anomic versus ATL or versus henchman. Anomic versus henchman in overtime. Anomic and henchman, if you report to the chat. We may go into overtime for that matchup, but right now we're gonna stick it here with ATL and Jago. We're gonna stay with this match till the very end, but it looks like another match, a grudge match, is being signed right as we speak. Come I'm gonna on. keep you guys updated with Ivan. Six Ivan, let me know in the chat what's going on. We may have to settle a dispute. Apparently, some unsavory words are being said in the chat, so don't go anywhere right now. While I play this ad! Okay, I'm just kidding. Whoa, the Beast mode. Bill Crosby putting Jago to sleep? ATL, absolutely. In the name of Brain Dead Bunga, Supernova actually left the top tier temple yesterday to join the teabagger alliance abandoning jago supernova rubbing his hands together thinking that maybe this is the funny shit huh this is the funny shit i left those guys behind but remember you're gonna have to contend with this level of atl Round if atl is actually fight. going to make a play for the belt this season i'm telling you there are very few people in this community that can beat atl when he's trying to be serious as RM Jago is finding out now, ATL, when he is an ultimate sweat lord, look at this pressure into mix down three, into the gun spin, gun spin with that forward one. Nice air to air, stand, jumping two, gonna convert one three, nomad dash into hook slam, 27% off of that. Oh, jump, dash in, no, no, oh, oh, that one. Low off of the forward four, anti air jump, no anti air, missing anti air, run cancel, back two, 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 in the scud shot, back two. Two, two in the gun cancel overhead. There's the shoot, spending some bars or spending some bullets. Gets a forward grab, maintains his positioning, and now he puts him right back into strike throw. Down three in the back, two, 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 two. Flawless block. Are you fucking kidding me, ATL? You fucking sweaty motherfucker, ATL. Putting on an execution clinic. Two. Showing you guys exactly how impressive he can be. All right, four, two, two, four. Gets the knockdown. There we go. Flawless block meets flawless block. Four, two, two, four. Gets the knockdown. Jago says, I can do that shit too. Don't you even start to think that you're better than me. You think you're better? I can do flawless block setups as well. There's the down poke into the slime. Removing his ability to shimmy. Look, he had to go back in. He couldn't backdash to get that slime. That's a pretty tricky Aaron Black trap. All right, and there's the slide. Goes for the command grab. 130 on deck, forward four, run, cancel into the slime, cutting off the back dash again. ATL is shutting down all of the screen, and there was an overextension, so that's gonna be a big punish. 1-3 into hook grab, looking for the anti-breakaway technology rather than, what the fuck, up two? There's a back two, two, fatal blow to catch the break. ATL is not letting Jago get a single match. He is not letting get Jago get a single round, a single win, a single match. Those of you who are new to the community and you don't know who ATL is, and you see him and he picks Frost and a bunch of dumb shit, tries to fucking uppercut people with Nightwolf, and you're like, what is, why does everybody have so much respect on this man's name? He's just as bad as Pika. Look, he did five jump kicks in a row like an idiot, but those of us, those of us who have been here for a while, we knew all along that ATL was a secret weapon of ours. ATL was our nuke in the pocket. He doesn't like to show off how good he is, 
But I'm telling you, those of you that slept on ATL, specifically Jago, didn't take him seriously at all. And now Jago has no stars. idea how to pull this one out. We've go, we're switching back to Liu Kang. He pulled out every sweaty tactic, flawless block on top of flawless block on top of optimal combo, and ATL was just one mix up ahead. Just one flawless block ahead, one Aaron punish, Blast. one unsafe, super risky overextension ahead every single time. This is why Brain Dead Bunga fought so hard to get ATL and why everybody was sleeping on him the whole season. I guess here at the end of the season, he's decided to actually start playing. So yeah, there's that. All right. Let's see, let's see what Jago's got in store. Jago, he's gonna be an 0-5 freedom fighter, and Jago, one of the more impressive players to debut this season. So it's gonna be interesting. This may be his first shutout. I don't believe Jago has ever been 0-5, and, and there's a slide, a slide, slide cancel, two, one, two, one, two, into gun, into low shoots, into high shoots, spending some bars, putting them away, putting the bullets away. There's a scud shot on the low fireball, forward, four. Here we go, two, one, back two, back two, three, into scud shot, standing two, catching him. Oh, and there's the roll over the roll on wake up he's gonna convert one bar 32 percent and a restand oh, back to back two 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 into the gun with the overhead spend some more bullets there's the launch goes for the run cancel misses it there all right forward grab jago now getting some breathing room he can start some zoning he's looking to get out though oh excuse me Burp, four, four, knockdown, back two, 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 into the slime, and ATL, ATL getting buried. All right, what do we got on wake up? Back one, two, four, ATL threading the needle, blocking the low fireball, ducking the high fireball, punishing, round and taking the round. Fight. ATL with good positioning, good corner control, and Jago in a bad place as a false block on the forward four. Those of you that know the Aaron Black jab matchup, you can actually jab him out of that dive kick, out of that drop kick. Thank you for the follow, uh, Ictum 9669. Okay, two, one, two, and two, and I fireball back two, two. Run cancel back two, two, back two, 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 two. No punish. All right, little fireball ATL a little bit late on the punish. Here we are dashing in forward four gets caught by a back three on the shimmy bicycle kick. No bar from Jago back two, 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 two into slide two, one, two, one, two. Counter hit, launch crushing blow. All oh, went for a standing four, probably into fatal blow to catch the breakaway. There's a back two, two, two gun cancel. 212 back to two into scud shot back to two two into fatal blow no punish with the punish oh Burkhardt are you serious ATL he knew how to punish a bicycle kick with Aaron Black wins I can't believe my eyes I can't believe my eyes ATL on the cusp ATL on the cusp of shutting Jago out with an 0 and 5 freedom fighter. We haven't seen ATL this impressive in a long time. We haven't seen ATL put in any effort. ATL is literally Orange Cassidy, right? If ATL was all elite, he would be Orange Cassidy sitting there with a jean jacket and his hands in his pocket, putting on sunglasses and telling people that he's just kind of bored and doesn't really want to do anything. Chosen dude. Chad is saying, dang, this is looking free. ATL is like seriously on size off level when he tries. This is what I've been telling you guys. Special this is what I've been apps. telling you. ATL is on like size off level when he tries. That's why I put him in S tier. But most of the time he does not try. He does not try. But let this matchup serve as a warning. Don't ever, don't, whatever it is that Jago did to ATL to get him to start actually playing, don't ever do that again because this is bad. Fight. This is real bad. This is a shutdown, knockdown, drag out fight. There's a back two. Back two got the trade. Back two, two, two. Back two. Oh, no punish. You're always so scared to punish that string because ATL. Nice usage of the whip punish, by the way, from Jago. He's going to get that bicycle kick on the back three. Down poke into the kick grab, and the bicycle kick was all for nothing. Now he's in the corner. 170 for a grab. Back two into the launch. Looking for the breakaway back. 4-3 in the block, look at that breakaway again. Back 2-3, scud shot, back 2-3. Here comes the swag, he dropped it. Dropped it there, run cancel, run cancel into the 2-1-2. Two, two. Gonna get some bullets. All right, forward grab, grab, escape, down three. Nothing off of that, 1-2, back grab. He's got the corner again, Jago now having good position. Jump in, 2-2-2, two, two, two. back 2-2-2. Two, two, two. 
ATL making the call out on the buff Round activation. Two. Jago trying to start it up, trying to get some offense. He knew he needed the damage to do it. There's the buff there. Able to safely get it applicated. 2 1 2 1 2. Run cancel to man grab. ATL is making Aaron Black look overpowered. He is making Aaron Black look broken right now. Those of you that don't know how to fight this matchup are probably wondering when are they going to nerf Aaron Black? Here we go, back one, back one, one, two, two, one, two, and two. Nice conversion in the bicycle kick, gonna burn it there. ATL getting caught with a back one on wake up, pressing buttons. ATL pressing buttons, not respecting the plus frames. He's gonna die to his arrogance, maybe. Jago not to be slept on, he has this corner and a. Holy shit! Oh, the slide to blow up the parry. There's an up three. Low fireball. Back two, two, two. Slide cancel. Two, one. Back two, two, two. No slide cancel. Four, four. Up three. Four, three, three, three. He got it. It confirmed for a full combo. This is going to be it. He got a point. Jago is not a freedom fighter. Confirmed. And we are going on into another match. Liu Kang wins. Holy shit. That parry. On the drop kick, I can't even. I can't even. I'm not even gonna try. I wouldn't even attempt to. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that and tweet that out. Sorry, ATL. That was swag as fuck, dude. You gotta hold that ass beaten. Now nah, you gotta hold that. That shit was dope. Jago, he may get his ass beaten and lose this next round, but he's got at least that going for him. He at least has that. He is saying, not free, not free, no freedom fotion, homie. No freedom fotion in the ocean. It's all Wild about man. the motion and the commotion. Chosen dude. Nostalgia realm. ATL stay getting clipped even though he's winning, says chat. Holy fuck, what a match. Jago, he's not, he's not free. He's not at all. No one thought going into this match free that he was free, but things were looking a little bit suspect going in. He was four to nothing, and now Liu Kang, mirror, ATL, looking to finish it with the maximum disrespect. I will beat you with your main. I will beat you with your main. No punish, no punish on that four, four, back one, two, four. There's a bicycle kick. Looks like ATL is going back to old habits of picking dumb shit, and he's now getting walked on. I guess we had, it was too much of us to ask for. Too much for us to ask. All right, there's a blow pop, fireball. ATL's gonna get punished. Double burn, no single burn. Bar didn't come back in time. All right, one, two, three. Sandy two, forward grab, side swap, back grab, I mean. And now we got the other uh, side. There's a back three into the buff application. ATL trying to do gimmicks, getting caught. Flying kick, that's gonna be a kill right there. ATL throwing it all away as he Round usually two. does. Fight. We knew that Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan wasn't gonna last an entire set. I think at best we get three matches out of ATL before he starts being dumb. There we go, one, two, three. Side swap, command grab, back three, stagger, four, grab, strike, throw. Strike throw to keep the corner. ATL back one, two, four, low fireball, misses the conversion, throw escape, there's a forward, four, three. Four grab again, ATL keeping that strike throw on point. And what's gonna be the call out? Down one, blocking afterwards, one, two, three. Down one into tick throw, but the hit landed, so he didn't get it. And there's a short hop overhead to blow it up. Low fireball amplify, that was it. And there we go, ATL getting the amplification. I was just about to call it for ATL. And here comes Jago with the clutch fatal blow conversion. Here we go. This is chip death for both of them. We gotta watch that low fireball. There's a high fireball. There's a high fireball again. And he gets it on the trade. Jago, just a frame fast enough. Jago is still in this, ladies and gentlemen, not giving up on himself, not for one second doubting his ability to bring this back. ATL shut this Liu Kang down four matches in a row, but Jago was able to make adjustments, make a read, and download his opponent, and now it looks like ATL can't get anything started. Wasn't a bad performance out of ATL's Liu Kang, but I question, I question his experience with Liu Kang going in there. Jago, a uh, Liu Kang main, may know the matchup a little bit better. That match My fell upon fundamentals. Oh, ATL's going around the world. 
Is ATL going around the world with all of his favorite characters? Remember, ATL. ATL's Johnny Cage, though not as flashy as his Aaron Black, is just as dangerous. It looks like ATL got bored with beating Jago's ass with Aaron Black and now wants to show off all the characters he can play. If Jago can win these next three matches, though, ATL can lose his ass to Hubris again like Round seems to one. be Fight. the thing he does all the time. ATL's trying to make this a show, says chat. We'll see. So far, so far... All he's been capable of doing is getting blown up. Oh, went for the anti-air, didn't get it. ATL with a back grab. ATL sitting on an R. Kelly opportunity and the R. Kelly is gone. Up three. All right, high fireball, four, three, standing two, one, two, one, two. Nope, back three, back three into Perry. There's the call out, no bar spent, but he's got some breathing room. He's out of the corner. All right, neutral jump, nice anti-air from Jago. Gonna convert for one bar on that bicycle kick. Buff applied, back three, four, into another bicycle kick, but no amplification there. There's a back two, two, into the finish of the string. Ford grab off the fatal ball cancel. Oh, I'm sorry, back grab. And here, have a, have a basket, have a basket. Uh -oh. Amplified fireball. Tried to shadow kick to interrupt the fireball, but not fast enough. Getting caught by another fireball, higher fireball at the startup. ATL has good positioning though. He, oh, not when he gets anti-air like that. Big conversion, full combo damage, 292. He had the full buff applied. There's a punish, no punish. ATL a little bit late, tried to get that back three. Down one, rising star, spends the bar, 12%. Nice anti-air on the cross up from Jago. All right, crossing up, no, back two on the cross up. Four, three, four, four, down four, looking for some plus frames. ATL wants to get his advantage starting, started. Tried to go for run jab, Jago not falling for it. There's a back grab and a side swap. Forward four, back one, two, gonna convert for all of it. There's a bicycle kick amplified for a full wall carry to the corner, and that's gonna be all she wrote. ATL now giving us the choke of chokes. The choke of chokes and Jago now able to catch it up, bring it back from four to nothing. And now we are at four to three. ATL choking if there ever was one. He's giving the temple hope. He, the chat is saying ATL is giving them false hope that Jago thinks and the temple think that they are going to take that last point, but ATL's just trying to make it look interesting. I don't know. He's lost many, many times over this. This has cost him the match so many times because ATL loves the troll. We were surprised he was going to actually start with Aaron Black. And he's in the chat saying, this is free. I could shut it down whenever I want. He doesn't want to shut it down. He wants to play with his food. He wants Jago to suffer, apparently. I guess he wants Jago. He wants to let Jago know that he is superior with multiple characters. I don't understand this. The Bungas, man, the Bungas are going to be betrayed if Jago can bring this back and reverse 5 0. Mm, this is a risky play from ATL. All right, what do we got? Back two, back two, no, back two, back two. There's a parry, back two into Ice Auger, gonna confer, no, drops the forward two. All right, back two into Ice Auger again, back one, two into Helicopter. Head is out, down one, there's the grab, there's the setup, and now we know what ATL was doing. ATL was looking to disrespect Jago. He wanted to go for this toxic setup, build Frost. Jago able to escape the corner, able to get some breathing room, some space, back three, into bicycle kick, double burn, uncharacteristic, usually Jago does not double burn in the corner, while opting normally to save the bar, and there's a grab, grab on wake up, back grab from ATL, there's the side swap, ATL now in control, and this is where the set play variation of Frost really starts to look good. Jago noticing the opportunity with godlike reactions, Catches a back three four and hit confirms in a fatal blow to interrupt the set play to get out of the corner, get some space and get himself the life lead. So now ATL, he's gonna make a big touch. He's gotta get a touch and he can't get chipped to get it. All right, back. Round two, fight. I'm not even gonna d dignify that. I'm not dignifying that. All right, ATL getting back grabbed and put in the corner because Apparently he doesn't think Jago's good enough to take seriously. Double bicycle kick back. One, two, four. Another bicycle kick with the buff. Shorty hop. There we go. Back three. This is going to be the crushing bicycle kick. Are you serious, ATL? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Liu Kang wins. 
We'll let it happen, chat. Flawless victory. My, my mind's telling me no. But my body, my body's telling me yes. Crosby, I don't want to hurt nobody. But there is something that I must confess to you. ATL don't see nothing wrong. Come on, sing it with me, chat. With a little bump and grind. With a little bump and grind. Ooh, baby. Hey, I don't see nothing wrong. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Fucking ATL, dude. I'm going to sing the whole fucking song for that shit. You should have shut this down a long time ago. Here we go. Jago now. Is this game set match point? Is this four to four now? Did I fuck up the score? Is it four to four? Did he just get R. Kelly'd and put it at four to four? Or is it three to four? Chat, let me know. I'll catch up the score. I was busy letting ATL know that he's free. Aaron Black is back out. There we go, Ford. Three, two, launch. Uh oh, blocking. Look at that patience. Look at that run cancel. Run cancel. Launch into slime back. One, two, four. Bicycle kick. Double burn. Standing one. Anti air. And there we go. Another bicycle kick. Restand back. One, back. One, two, four. Another bicycle kick. Restand back. One, two, four. Low fireball. Big punish. No punish. Slide cancel. Two, one, two, one, two. Overhead into the shots. Spend some bullets. Dash in. No, getting shot. ATL now slide cancel into the slime back one two four and that's it that's all she wrote there all right ATL now this is do or die right is this do or die is ATL really gonna get blown up after that all right flying kick in the neutral buff applied here we go high fireballs back two 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 into command grab all right Crosby with the wake up, he's down by one round. He's gotta win this one to stay in this one. Down three, down three, went for the tick throw, not having it, the tick hit. There's a back two, 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 slide back. Two, 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 into the run cancel. Jew, oh God, Jew dropped it. Drop the run cancel combo. Here we go, back three, four, went for the tick off of the command grab, but that string doesn't tick, so he doesn't get that command grab. Uh, Interactable. It's high noon Crosby. Look at that, 100 bits, my man. It is high noon. ATL trying to swag, getting caught on the roll. What is going on here? Okay, here we go. We got to grab. We got to grab. We got to interact. Well, fatal blow. No. ATL about to get freed. ATL about to get freed. Is this happening? Ooh, it's going to be the call. He's going to neutral duck on wake up. Neutral duck. Look at that. Slide in the nooch. Final round. I can't, I can't, here we go, jumping in anti-air, went for a sweep anti-air, back two, 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 command grab, he's gonna spend the bar, he is gonna spend the bar, 25%, 26% off of that one touch slide, cancel, went to grab, unfortunately it wasn't there for him, so we're gonna bubble burn the bicycle kick, buff applicated, grab 156 for the grab, roll punish, ATL with the corner swag, and he dropped it, unfortunately, and there we go. Back one, two, four into the amplified bicycle kick. I think he's sitting on that crush now. There's a grab. Reversing of fortune. ATL now. Two, one, two. Crushing flow! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, the fire! Bill Crosby got his bussy pudding popped. He free, sadly. Sadly, ATL is free, confirmed. I can't believe what I just saw. Somebody choking the choke of chokes. No, not like this. Ladies and gentlemen, your final score, TTTRMJGO5.
to BDBATL Crosby's four. It should have been the other direction, but again, the ugly face of hubris dares show a glance in the direction of ATL. If you're enjoying the B-Set League matches here on YouTube, make sure you join us live on twitch.tv slash SoCal Honey Badger, and you can see ATL Crosby embarrass himself every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to about 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And before you head on over, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tweet out to your mama so that way she doesn't miss the action either.